everybody, I'm Marilyn and this is my studio where I paint on t-shirts. Today I want to show you how to mix paint and how to design your own t-shirts with the techniques that I've used for over 25 years. I'll have you designing in no time and people will think you've been painting all your life. What I've done here is mixed up acrylic paints, a small amount in each cup. I use water and about a dime size worth of paint in each cup and then I swirl it and mix it to a nice consistency that it's going to work into my fabric. And the way that I paint is I paint on t-shirts that are stuffed with a pillow. That is to absorb the water. And the reason why all my t-shirts are so soft and pastel is because of the water. The magic is the water. So get ready to have some fun and maybe change the rest of your life because once you learn how to do this, you'll remember it forever and this is something that you will want to do for your entire life. In this video, I will show you how to choose your fabric, how to mix paint, how to lay out your design, how to paint, how to detail your paintings after you finish them, and then how to complete the work, and then how to sell it. That's it. This is a shirt that has been painted and detailed with a Sharpie pen, ultra fine point marker, to bring out the detail and the colors and the flowers. Now, I developed this sort of technique about 25 years ago because I've always been chicken to let the painting be. I always seem to have to outline things. Maybe it's because of my background in stained glass where we detailed everything in black lines. But nonetheless, it became my style. Other people will want to just paint. Here's another sample of a painting of flowers that are done. Later I'll be outlining this, but you may want to keep it as it is. Some people are much more purists and they want just paint. So that'll be up to you. If you, think, if you feel that your design is good, just let it be. Here's another sample of something I did yesterday. And this is my easiest flower that I call the 123 tropical flower. And this is what I'm going to show you how to do today. This again is just the paint stage. Later I will heat set this with the iron to make it permanent and then I'm going to detail and show you my special technique for bringing out all the details of this flower so it, it really looks like an orchid after that. Okay, so get ready. Here's another. This is the lycra and cotton and this is a tinier little orchid pattern that I create with the skinny bamboo brush. The bamboo brushes hold a lot of water and that's why I love them because they disperse a lot of paint and water but when I want it to be more detailed and not so spread out and huge I'll use a very tiny bamboo brush and sometimes even the small stiff round brush to create more detail. You'll see how I do roses when I show you that. Okay so get ready. What I'm going to do here is show you how to mix paint, how to paint, how to detail it like I said then we'll heat set them with the iron and take it from there. This is a close-up of some of the roses that I painted yesterday. They're not outlined yet and I think you'll be really amazed when you see them outlined. Some of you will probably like them just as they are and it's a lot of fun to watch it go together in a, in a video as you see the flowers appear before your eyes. So again, get ready. This is a lot of fun and anyone can do it. I, I really mean it. Painting on tees is as easy as one, two, three. And once I show you how, you'll be amazed. <laughs> 